You're telling me that there's something good that humans can do that Allah cannot do? Because Allah cannot be humble. But humans can, and it's a moral virtue. Oh, but why does Allah need to be humble? He's the creator, he's the supreme being, he's this and that. Well, wait a minute. For the same reason, if I beat a three-year-old in basketball, I'm not going to boast over them. I'm the best over you. I'm better than you. I'm better than you. That's Allah to his creatures. I'm the best of this. I'm the best of that. Bro, bro, calm down, Allah. All right, if you are, bro, you don't have to say it like the way you are. Like, what's wrong with this guy? He's very, Allah is very insecure. Very insecure. Maybe he has a little man syndrome. Or, uh, or he has a little wee-wee. Who knows, right? But he's definitely insecure. Now, with that being said, in Isaiah 57, verse 15, and Psalm 113, verse 5 and 6, it identifies our God as humble. Humble. Yet Allah cannot be. That's one. Number two. In the Hadith tradition, listen to what it says. This is narrated Abu Well in Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 6, book 60, number 158. And it says, None has more sense of gaira than Allah. Therefore, He prohibits shameful sins, whether committed openly or secretly. And none loves to be praised more than Allah does. And for this reason, He praises Himself. Wow, Allah loves praise so much that He praises Himself. Again, in Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 6, book 60, number 161, it says, narrated Abdullah bin Masood, Allah's apostle said, none has more sense of gaira than Allah, and for this, He has forbidden shameful sins, whether committed openly or secretly, and none loves to be praised more than Allah does, and this is why He praises Himself. Allah praises himself and yet proverbs 27 verse 2 it says let the lips of another praise you and not yourself let the lips of another praise you you don't mm. have to praise yourself yeah so what, what about our god father hmm? what about our, our god i mean yahweh yeah he doesn't praise himself you know oh, yeah. who praises him? David, the prophets, all those who experience him, they praise him. Because when you come into a encounter, and you know this, Ilya, but when you come into encounter with the true and living God, you will either fall dead at his feet, right? You will have an experience like you've never had an experience before. You will worship him, praise him. He doesn't have to praise himself. I am this, I am that, I am that, I am this, I am that. No, no, no. Your own people, your prophets, David, you, me, Ilya, Chris, Paul, we will praise you because you are worthy of praise. We love you. Uh, and I think that's the real God because um, he doesn't praise himself only, but because we know who is the truly God, and we say that a Yahweh is the best God. It's the not only it, true. Yeah, it doesn't comes from himself, but comes from we, uh, from us as a people who looks out about our God. That's cool. Yeah, that's Amen. really cool. Amen. And and Moses' God was triune. Moses worshipped the Trinity, the triune God. That was the God of Moses. Not oh. this imposter. Right? Do you have, by any chance, do you have the Bible in English with you, Ilya? No, I have no. Okay, that's okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, hey, uh, just I want to say something to uh, people in the yeah, yeah. An influx of people. Uh, we have Ilya up on the panel, which is has a very big following. Uh, so yes. the people that may not be able to speak English. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. 
And brother, I'm going to drop down a bit. Um, I'll be in the chat so others can come up. Thank you so much, Albie. Oh, Yo, yeah. No, no. Thank the Lord. Everything good is from him. Everything evil is from Chris Claus. <laughs> Absolutely. All glory to God. Thank you all. I'll be in the chat, guys. God Amen. bless. God bless you. Yeah, guys, I'm actually uh, I'm actually working right now. I work with uh, cybersecurity, all that stuff. And I'm just like, you know, I, I click keyboards and click a mouse, man. So I've just been listening and enjoying the uh, fellowship. But I'll drop two, man, so we can get more people up here. Yo, God bless you, Sanctify. God bless you, brother. You have to remember, uh, in uh, Islam. Uh, go ahead, Paul. Remember, I'll be in Islam. They reject the crucifixion of Jesus. They just reject his divinity and they reject the resurrection. So, yeah. rejecting salvation. The devil's got him in a, in a knot, but there. The devil's got him absolutely deceived, but there. And yet the Quran still teaches the crucifixion of Jesus, ironically, right? Let's say hello to Abu. Abu, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, Abu, are you Muslim or you are Christian? I am Christian. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. Oh, are you okay? Because I thought you were Jewish. <laughs> yeah, I show, I show the David star on your name. <laughs> I'm support the Jews, but I'm Christian. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, welcome, welcome, friend. Did you say you supported the Jews, Abu? Yeah, I am. Paul, <laughs> Paul, 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 Paul. We're not going to do that here. All right, brother. I say yeah. about the oh, many prophecies <laughs> about the Jews. That's all. Sorry if I. No, 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 no worries. I don't want it to get political. Okay. And there's enough people here um, that are hoping to see disunity amongst the Bai, right? So this is an in-house discussion. We don't do this in front of Muslims and Jews because Muslims and Jews are outside of the faith. Yeah, no, no. I was just going to say about the prophecy surrounding the Jewish nation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, go ahead. I thought you were going to pick a fight. Uh, about the... <laughs> I don't fight. I fight the good fight. Because I, I, yeah, because I, I personally, I, I support, I support none of them. The, I, I'm gonna, I'll just be straight up. The government of Israel is evil and wicked. Me too. And yeah. exactly because they're satanic, and so is the government yeah. of Palestine. Yeah, my, I agree with my, you. That's my I position. Totally agree. My I totally agree with you. Also. But I'm saying about the Jewish people, the people of God, you know what I mean? The Jewish well, people, not, not the, the people government. God. You are the people of God. Amen. Amen. Christ Amen. are the people of God, both Jews and Amen. Greens. Children of God. As a, as a Christian, we are not being pro on Israel or the Palestine because Jesus teaches us and told us that we have to love each other because as a human being, we have love from Jesus Christ. So that's why we are not being pro in Palestine or maybe with um the Jews because the Jews is has no speciality on us as a Christian because we are the new Israel. Mm -hmm. yeah. God, bless, God bless you all why, brothers and sisters. Hey, God bless you, Abibi. God bless you, brother. The reason why we're the true Israel, <laughs> spiritual Israel, is because somebody uh, Paul, is that you your background noise? The reason why we are the true Israel, spiritual Israel, is because we are in Jesus, who is the true Israel. Jesus is identified by name as Israel. Amen, amen. In Isaiah 49, verse 3, and when you cross-reference Hosea chapter 11, verse 1, with Matthew chapter 2, 13 to 15. Moreover, Israel was known as the vine. In Isaiah chapter 5, 1 through 7, Isaiah 5, 1 through 7, right? He's known, he's known as the vine. 
Jesus in John 15, one through four, identifies himself as the true vine. Amen. The true I'll be brother. I just want to say I love you. I love your uh, lives, and uh, God has given you a lot of wisdom. Thank, praise God. I love watching you, man. Oh, God bless you. I love watching you cooking the cooking the Muslims. Jesus, bro. I'm up to studies. What's up, brother? God bless you, man. God bless you, brother. Uh, let me uh, let me do this. Chris Claus, Chris Claus, I'm just playing. Scott, what's going on? Paulo Jetix in the house, Boston hey. representative. Hey, Sonny, what's good, brother? What's going on, man? I see you, man. Hey, hello. What's up, Abu? Hello, Abu. Abu no, I just want to ask ask to to you, brother. Is that Jesus? Uh, when he's still in in this world his real region is jews like that, wait, wait, what's that? What's that? jesus what is, is jewish he's oh yeah jesus is a jew i agree I so agree. what we don't stand with them okay because number one l let me tell you why we don't stand with them because they are standing for carnality when they stand with jesus we stand with them but when they oppose jesus we oppose them let me show you from jesus's own mouth himself okay in john chapter 5 uh john chapter 15 verse 23 to 25 let me show you. John 15, 23 to 25. You ready? He. Okay. Matter of fact, yeah, let me read from uh, 22. If I had not come and spoken to the Jews, to them, they would have no sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would have no sin. But now they have seen and also hated both me and my father. But this happened that the word might be fulfilled, which is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. How can you be God's chosen people when you hate Jesus? You can't. Right? And then on top of it, look what 16 verse 1 and on says about the Jews. These things I have spoken to you that you should not be made to stumble. They, the Jews, they will put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time is coming that whoever unalives you will think that he is offering God a service. And these things they will do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things I have told you that when the time comes, you may remember that I told you of them. And these things I did not say to you at the beginning because I was with you. Now watch this. Look, look what Paul says. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, 13 and on. For this, for this reason, we also thank God without ceasing because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which also effectively works in you who also believe. For you, brethren became imitators of the churches of God, which are in Judea in Christ Jesus. For you also suffered the same things from your own countrymen, just as they did from the Judeans, who killed both the Lord Jesus and their own prophets, and have persecuted us, and they do not please God, and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they may be saved, so as always to fill up the measure of their sins, but wrath has come upon them to the uttermost. Revelation 11, verse 8. Revelation 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city, 
which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So when somebody supports Israel, this nation, Jerusalem, they're supporting Sodom and Egypt. That's what it was just called. Yeah. Paul, Paul says, you support Hagar in Galatians chapter 4 when you read 21 to 28. Because we are of the free woman. And our mother is in heaven, Sarah. The Jews, their mother is Hagar that come from Mount Sinai. So go and tell the Jew that, hey, Mr. Jew, you're a son of Hagar. What's up? No, but we're not going to boast against them. But this is the truth of what's being said here. But now watch this. First John chapter 2, 18 and on. Little children, it is the last hour. As you heard, there are, uh, the Antichrist is coming. Even now, many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that it might be made manifest that none of them were with us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar? Who is a liar? But he who denies that Jesus is the Christ. He is the Antichrist. Wow, the Jews are the Antichrist? Who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. 1 John chapter 4, 1-3. 1 John chapter 4, 1-3. to three. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. So how can you be God's chosen people if you're not of God? But wait, what about Revelation chapter 3 verse 9? Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. Wow. Who say they are Jews and are not, but lie? Well, then, Jesus, who are the Jews? Let Paul tell you. Philippians chapter 3, verse 2 and on. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the mutilation, meaning the Jews. For we are the circumcision. We, we are the circumcision who worship God in spirit, <clears throat> who worship God in the spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh, though I also might have confidence in the flesh. Right? Romans 2.28 For he is not a Jew who is one outwardly, nor is circumcision that which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew who is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not from men, but from God. Man. Right? Galatians 6.15 For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but a new creation. 16. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace and mercy be upon them and upon the Israel of God. Oh my God, that's so complete. Yeah. And John 8, how about John 8, 44? Here, John 8, 44. Watch this. So do you mean, uh, I'll be away, I want to okay. confirm, like, uh, do you think like the, the Antichrist comes from the Jews? You know, ironically, <laughs> they're, 
They're waiting for two messiahs. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah, I know. For the so they're waiting for Messiah Ben David, who's a king. Mm -hmm. But first will come Messiah Ben Joseph. Who's ben a Joseph. Priest. Uh huh. Now, what are we waiting for? We're waiting for the Antichrist and the false prophet. They're uh, waiting for their Christ and the prophet, the priest. But um, wait, the the false Messiah it comes from the Jews or to, from um Christian? Wait, no. So the false, I believe, the false Messiah is going to be uh from the Jews. He has to because he has to, he, he has to fulfill some of the Old Testament prophecies to be made real. The only thing is. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be able to prove that he's from the line of David. Ah, oh, I see. Because I see. all the records, all the records of the lineage, right, was destroyed in 70 AD with the destruction of the temple because there's no need anymore. Okay. Tracing back your lineage back to David. So what are they going to do? They're going to have a consensus. They're going to gather the elders together. And they're uh -huh. going to vote in who they want in as the one who rules from the temple and they will worship him as God. It's not going to uh, be Muslim. He's not going to be a Muslim because Muslims would yeah, never agree. accept a man identifying himself as God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, uh, the reasons why we we don't support Israel because you know when we do uh support Israel, it means like we support their own plans to to reboot the third Beit Hamikdash. Yeah. So when we when we say as Christians we support Israel, what we're saying is we support a pagan nation that hates. Mm -hmm your God that hates your Jesus. Yeah. Now, I want you to imagine this. Imagine you want to preach the gospel to Muslims. The Muslim is thinking to himself, here I am. I love Mary. I love Jesus. I love the prophets. I love Allah. Why are these Christians always joining hands with the Jews that hate Jesus, that don't believe? We Muslims, we believe in a virgin birth. We believe Jesus is the Messiah. I'm not saying that it's the true Jesus, but this is their mentality. And here's Christians worshiping, oh, Jews, the Jews, the Jews. Well, they're going to reject the gospel from us. Why would they want to hear anything from us? It's unfair mm -hmm. to the Muslim. It's unfair to their hearts. We're showing partiality and we shouldn't be showing partiality because the same gospel that goes to the Muslim has to go to the Jew. Amen. Because they're both on their way to hell, apart from the uh, the true Jesus. So, so what, what what do you think uh, about the Bible first? Uh, who is, I mean, a bless for me, Israel. You will go bless for me also. Okay. What do you think so about that's it? so so yeah. That's actually a very good question. I'm gonna unpack mm -hmm. this. Yeah, yeah. What what the brother is referencing is Genesis chapter 12, verse three, along along with. Uh, other verses, okay, but these are specific, specific verses. What I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to show you a couple oracles. I'm going to go to, I'm going to read Genesis 12, verse 3. This is what the brother is referencing here. Okay. In Genesis 12, 3, it says, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you... All the families of the earth shall be blessed. Notice, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. That's to Abraham. After God scattered the nations in Genesis 11, he goes after his own nation so that he'll bring back the nations through him. Right? Not Abraham, but in you. Now, what's interesting about this What we're going to do is this now. We're going to go to Genesis 22, verse 18. Notice what it says in Genesis 22, verse 18. It says, In your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Notice seeds, Zara, not seeds as in plural. 
the Jews. No, seed as in one, namely the Messiah. Paul says this in Galatians 3, but we'll get there in a second. Right? Uh, so, so it is not mean for the plural, but um, it's uh, for the one only. I'm sorry, what was that? It is not, I mean, it means like it's not plural yeah. to the Israel. Because I'll, I'll show you. The curses, okay. the curses that were in Deuteronomy 28, if they do what for, about the law? If they transgress, the Jews transgress the law, they're going to be accursed, right? Yeah, yeah. But Jesus came to remove the curse from us. So who's the one that's cursed? It's those that are not in Christ, Paul says. Let me show you what Paul says here. Galatians. Uh, okay, okay. Galatians okay. 3, right? From verse 10, it says, For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. Are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not continue in all things, all, not some, all things, which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no one is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident, for the just shall live by faith. Right? Yet the law is not of faith, but the man who does them shall live by them. But Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. It's not that Jesus was accursed, but rather removes the curse from us by taking our place on the cross. Of That's Jesus. Exactly what's being said here. Now notice, notice this. In the oracles, right of chapter 23 of numbers and chapter 24 of numbers watch what watch what numbers 24 says really quick in numbers 24 8 and 9 about the messiah and this is an oracle if i read it from the uh, beginning but watch numbers 24 8 and 9 but let me read from just so you know from verse 2 it says, And Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped according to their tribes, and the Spirit of God came upon him. So the Spirit of God came upon Balaam. Then he took up his oracle and said, The utterance of Balaam, the son of Beor, the utterance of the man whose eyes are open. That's Jesus' utterance, because Jesus is going to be speaking. The utterance of him who hears the words of God, who sees the vision of the Almighty, that's Jesus, who falls down with eyes wide open. How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, your dwellings, O Israel, like valleys that stretch out, like gardens by the riverside, like aloes planted by Yahweh, like cedars besides the waters. He shall pour water from his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, the Messiah's. His king, God's king, his king, shall be higher than Agog, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brings him, not them, them is in a previous chapter, God brings him, singular, out of Egypt. Wow, because Hosea 11, 1 says, out of Egypt I called my son. Matthew chapter 2, verse 15, out of Egypt I called my son, whose name is Israel, by the way. It says here, God brings him out of Egypt. He has strength like a wild ox. He shall consume the nations, his enemies. He shall break their bones and pierce them with the arrows. He bows down. He lies down as a lion and as a lion who shall arouse them. That's Genesis 49, 8 through 12 about the Lion of Judah. Blessed is he who blesses you and cursed is he who curses you. Uh, That's about Jesus. Whoever blesses oh, Jesus, so who's the true Israel, listen, whoever blesses Jesus, who is the true Israel, will be blessed. Whoever curses Jesus will be cursed. Well, look at what the Holy Spirit says in 1 Corinthians 12.3. Uh, I mean, Paul, 1 Corinthians 12.3. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed. And no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the 
Holy Spirit. So what's the point? Galatians 3, 8 and 9 says, The scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preach the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, All the nations will be blessed in you. So then those who are of faith are blessed with Abraham, the believer, who does what? Who believes in the promises. I'm going to go to Galatians 3.16, same chapter. Okay. Now the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. He does not say and to seeds as referring to many, but rather to one and to your seed that is Christ. Uh, right. so do you mean, wait, so do you mean like, um, the Israel is not plural, but is the singular, uh, replaced by Jesus? So it means like it, that's for Jesus. Uh, so who bless Jesus, um, it will get blessed also, not like Israel as a nationality. Yeah, exactly. How can we, uh, how, how can we bless the only way to bless, uh, the, the Jews uh -huh. is by preaching the gospel to them. Ah, That's yeah, it. I I got it, I got it. Thank you. you, know, Thank you. Oh my God. But then we also want to bless the uh, the Muslims. Now, yeah. <laughs> now, now <laughs> by by preaching the gospel to them. Now, let me show you because God's original plan okay, okay, was okay, okay. God's original plan was for the Jews to be a light to the nations, for this to be a holy nation distinct from all other pagan nations. In Exodus nineteen, verse five and six, it says, in Exodus nineteen five and six. Now then, if you will, notice if, it's contingent, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be my own possession, my own possession among all the peoples, for all the earth is mine, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the sons of Israel. Right now, notice, look at what Peter does with this, right? In first Peter, sorry, let me just go there really quick. First Peter, oh, okay. one second. I'm trying yes. to see. Okay. First Peter chapter two, I'm going to read, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to read from four and on. And it says this. Coming to him as to living stones, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. You also, you Gentiles, you also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. Wow, but that was supposed to be the Jews, not the Gentiles. A holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Right. Verse nine says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into the marvelous light, who once were not a people. So we were once not a people of God, but now are the people of God who obtain mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Who have not obtained mercy but now obtain mercy how is that by being in christ because you can't be the people of god without being in christ right now revelation 1 6 remember what it said you will be to me what you shall be to me a kingdom of priests a holy nation in exodus 19 5 and 6. Hmm. in revelation 20 verse 6 it says blessed and holy blessed and holy uh, is the one who has a part in the first resurrection over these the second death has no power but they will be priests of god and of christ uh, a kingdom of priests okay. blessed is he it can't be the jews right now watch yeah, this yeah genesis 27 29 genesis 27 29 it says genesis 27 29 May okay. people serve you and nations bow down to you. Notice, may people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be master of your brothers 
and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be those who curse you, and blessed be those who bless you. Mm. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 14. Isaiah oh my 60, God. Verse That's 14. so perfect. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. But the, also the sons of those who afflicted you, the sons of those who afflicted you shall come bowing to you. And all those who despise you, who hated you, shall mm. fall prostrate at the soles of your feet, and they shall call you the city of Yahweh, Zion, of the Holy One of Israel. Wow. So let's wow. see. Who are they going to be calling this to? Let's find yeah. out. Oh, my Revelation God. Revelation 3.9. Revelation 3.9. Behold, That's I will cool. cause those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. I will make them come and bow down at your feet and make them know that I have loved you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You know, I, I, I amazed what I was so amazed with your explanation because I just could realize that it means the Israel it it doesn't mean to the Israel as a national lady, but you know, for the Jesus Christ because that got confirmed in the revelation that bless God and bless Christ. So it means the Israel is the Christ. So if you bless Christ, you will get blessed, and if you bless when we Christ, you will get blessed when we also. Exactly. Yeah. Now, oh my now, God. now to be clear, you are so cool, bro. Oh my but, but I do God. want to be, but I do want to be clear on something. Does that mean that God is done with the physical seed of Israel of Jacob? Uh -huh. He's not. Mm. He's not. Because there that was, singular in every, in every generation, Romans Romans chapter eleven verse twenty five says there's been a partial hardening to the children of Israel, which means in every generation, God is faithful to unite, right? An X amount of people by faith to the body of Christ, because there is no salvation apart from the body of Christ. So in every generation, he does that by virtue of people preaching the gospel to them. Now, when the fullness of time comes, right? <clears throat> Yeah. Two thirds of Israel will be wiped out. Zechariah 13, verse 8 and 9. One third will be brought through the refining fire. In, in, in Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10, it says that he will pour out the spirit of supplication upon them, the Jews, so they can what? Pray and see, but they're going to mourn for him. Matter of fact, let me read it because I'm butchering it. Zechariah, uh, Zechariah 12, verse 10. It says, And I will pour on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication. Then they will look on me whom they pierced. And yes, they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only son and grieve for him as one grieves for the firstborn. They will finally recognize them, their Messiah and they will enter into the millennial kingdom with regular bodies while we will have immortal bodies, bodies that are made morally incorruptible, physically indestructible. However, God is not done with the physical seed of Israel. However, they are pagan. They are contrary. They stand contrary mm -hmm. to us. But the reason why God is not done with them, it's because God loves Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this is what Paul says, for their sake, for the sake of their fathers, he's not yeah. finished with them. In Romans 11, verse 28 and on, it says, okay. concerning, listen, concerning the gospel, the Jews are your enemies. Concerning the gospel, they are your enemies for your sake. But concerning election, they are beloved for the sake of the fathers. For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. For as you were once disobedient to God, yet have now obtained mercy through their disobedience, even so these also have now been disobedient, 
that through the mercy shown to you, they also may obtain mercy. For God has committed them all to disobedience that he might have mercy on all. Mm -hmm. Now, what Paul says, it's beautiful here in Romans 11. He says this in Romans 11, 11 and on says, I say, then have they stumbled that they should fall? Certainly not. But through their fall, through their fall, through the fall of the Jews to provoke them to jealousy, salvation has come to the Gentiles. Now, if their fall, if the fall of the Jews has become riches for the world and their failure riches for the Gentiles, yeah. How much more their fullness? That means when the Jews come to confess corporately that Jesus is the Messiah, we will be transformed because Jesus will return. We'll be Amen. transformed because he's saying if their disobedience resulted as a gift to us, how much more their obedience? That means we'll be with Christ finally. I mean, oh my God, God bless you, bro. Okay, okay, wait, I I, I want to translate it uh, with uh, the audience from Indonesia. Sure, sure, absolutely. Okay. Uh, jadi gini teman-teman, tadi aku kan nanya ya, uh, kenapa kita tidak pro kepada Israel gitu kan? Nah, terus dia bilang begini, bahwa Israel itu tidak istimewa lagi bagi, uh, bagi kita sebagai orang Kristen, itu tidak punya... Uh, sesuatu yang istimewa lagi lah pokoknya gitu karena ya Israel itu sekarang Israel yang sekarang itu tidak merepresentasikan Israel yang dahulu nah terus aku bawa kan ke kan ada ayat Bible yang berkata bahwa siapa yang mengutuk Israel maka kita juga kita juga akan dikutuk siapa yang memberkati Israel itu akan kita juga akan diberkati tapi ternyata menurut penjelasan Albi tadi ternyata bentuk Israel di sana itu adalah singular bukan uh, plural, bukan jamak. Artinya itu tidak merujuk kepada Israel sebagai sebuah bangsa. Tetapi ternyata tadi penjelasan LB dari kisah Rasul, dari Filipi, dan juga dari kejadian, kata Israel itu merujuk kepada Yesus Kristus, yang artinya siapa yang mengutuk Yesus itu juga akan dikutuk, siapa yang akan memberkati Kristus itu akan diberkati. Dan itu dikonfirmasi oleh kitab wahyu, di mana di kitab wahyu para malaikat itu berseri bahwa terberkatilah dan diberkatilah engkau, wahai Tuhan dan juga Kristus yang merujuk kepada Yesus. Jadi penjelasannya ini memang saling terkonfirmasi, makanya aku kayak speechless banget gitu loh gitu so uh, there is no reason for us to get support with the Israel because uh, the real Israel and uh, is Jesus and the, uh, the spiritual Israel is nowadays is a Christianity Christianity so I'm so proud of to be Christian yeah amen amen and let yeah. me show you <laughs> let me show you Hey, Albi, can I speak on uh, just quickly uh, oh, Psalm yeah, yeah, 69 and, and the destruction of the temple really quickly? Please, brother. Mm -hmm. yeah. So oh, we, we heard uh, Albi, I believe, bring up Psalm 69. It says here, those who hate me without reason outnumber the hairs of my head. Many are my enemies without cause. I need you to remember this statement. Those who hate me without reason my enemies without cause okay so we read that <clears throat> in the article of course in in 70 ad there's a there, there was there, there's a question asked to this rabbi rabbi zimmerman chris. in the article and the question, is, I heard him, chris. The, <laughs> the question is why were the two temples destroyed The rabbi's answer is by stating that the first temple was destroyed because of idolatry, which even included the sacri uh, sacrifice of children to false gods. But when Rabbi Zimmerman explained the fate of the second temple, he noted that there was no evidence of idolatry. Rather, the temple was destroyed due to this term, Sanat Shanam. And that means hatred without a cause. In 70 AD, the temple was destroyed 
and the Jewish people believed that it was destroyed because of hatred without a cause. What did 69.4 tell us? Those who hate me without reason outnumber the hairs of my head. Many are my enemies without cause. We see this when you're an enemy of Christ. Of course, you, we see what happened to the temple, the second temple in 70 AD. It got destroyed. And it was destroyed because of hatred without cause. They sacrificed their Messiah. Hatred without cause. Amen. And Jesus reiterates this as we read in John 15, 25. But this happened that the word might be fulfilled, which is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. And this is quoted in Psalm 69, verse 4, in Psalm 35, 19, Psalm 109, 3 to 5. Isn't it just amazing that we have the Old Testament prophet yeah. to yeah. tell us what's going to happen when Jesus comes to this world? That's just amazing. Exactly. And now, Isaiah 49, to confirm what the brother just said, Isaiah 49, 1 through 8. And this is, my sheep hear my voice. So who's speaking here in Isaiah 49, verse 1? Watch. Listen, O coastlands, to me, and take heed, you peoples, from afar. This can't be Isaiah, because Isaiah was sent to the southern kingdoms, while Hosea was sent to the northern kingdoms. There was two contemporary prophets at this time. Hosea to the northern tribes, Isaiah to the southern tribes. So this particular person is speaking to the Gentiles, the coastlands. Listen, O coastlands, to me, and take heed, you peoples from afar. Yahweh has called me from the womb, from the matrix of my mother. He has made mention of my name, and he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. And in the shadow of his hand, he has hidden me and made me a polished shaft in his quiver, he has hidden me. And he said to me, he, Yahweh, said to me, you are my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and in vain. Yet surely my just reward is with the Lord and my work with my God. And now Yahweh says, who formed me from the womb to be a servant, to bring Jacob back to him so that Israel is gathered to him. For I shall be glorious in the eyes of Yahweh and my God shall be my strength. But indeed he says, it is too small of a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved ones of Israel. I will also give you as a light to the Gentiles that you should be my salvation to the ends of the earth. So here is Israel raising up the 12 tribes of Israel, but also raising up the Gentiles. Because God is saying it's too small of a thing, your sacrifice to only raise up the 12 tribes of Israel. Here's Israel restoring Israel. Right? So he's identified as Israel here. In, in, in Hosea... 11 verse 1 it says oh yeah, go ahead it says Hosea 11 verse 1 when Israel was a child I loved him and out of Egypt I called my son when Israel was a child I loved him and out of Egypt I called my son Matthew 2 15 and was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet saying, out of Egypt, I called my son. And what was the son's name? Israel. Matthew 2, 15. Perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> so Jesus is the true Israel. We are yeah. spiritual Israel because we're in him. Yeah. Okay. 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 You know, um, okay. Okay. No, it is. Mm, mm. Right? Yeah, that is cool. That's cool. That's cool. Not Jesus. 
in the Bible, we must see the fact. Ah, uh, okay. So it means like the the true the truly Israel is Jesus, yeah. and that's why we are also uh, the spiritual uh, uh, Israel in spiritually because we believe in Jesus. That's we are exactly because we are the true Israel. Jews. Ah, right? uh, and we are the true Jews in the charts. So exactly. Charts, okay. Oh my. And, and look at look, look at what Galatians three. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, 26, okay. 26 to 29 says, For you, Elia, for you are the sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ, having put on Christ, oh my there God. is neither Jew nor Greek. So when you're in Christ, there is no Jew or Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So we are Abraham's seed. Yeah, 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 that's true. We we are the Abraham seed because we believe in Jesus that God promised by God in the Old Testament that Jesus is the truly and the truly uh, Messiah that comes uh, up in uh, the New Testament. Exactly. Okay. Oh my God, that's cool, bro. I got it. Now I get a new knowledge just for me. And Praise I will God. spread it. And I will spread it to to my friend, and I I I'm so excited to share this experience to my friends because, uh, in Indonesia as an apologist, you know we get uh we are so dizzy in how we do um the hermeneutics about who bless Israel uh will be uh will get blessed, but who bless my Israel will get blessed for me, uh in in facing because about. Uh, the Palestine and Israel war nowadays. So I think it's really helpful. Thank you, LB. You are oh, so cool. Pra <laughs> praise God. And what I'll do, what I'll do also, welcome Juntech. What I'll do also is I will mm -hmm. take this, I'll record it, this portion that we talked about Israel, and I'll uh -huh. post it on my YouTube channel, right? Okay, do, do you have a YouTube channel? I, I want to subscribe it. Yeah, the YouTube channel is this Assyrian guy. Uh, oh, sorry, this guy. So this oh. Assyrian guy, and I partner with Chris Claus, who is uh, One Way Apologetics. Mm, okay, 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 okay. Chris Claus has debated some of the top Muslims, like Shabir Ali, right? The guy that's next to you. Uh, brilliant okay. mind, brilliant mind by the grace of God. So I, I do, I partner with him a lot. And One Way Apologetics is his platform. And this Assyrian guy is my platform. And our brother James, another very wise man by the grace of God, is finally beginning to build his uh, YouTube channel as well, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, it's called um, Divine. But, I met Ilya yesterday. God bless you, Ilya. How are you? Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mercy. Divine Mercy. Divine Mercy Apologetic. Yeah, Divine Mercy. <laughs> Ilya, okay. James was James was the one in my live yesterday See? talking about intercession and Mary. Remember, Andrew. His name's Andrew oh. down there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, okay. so this Assyrian guy. One way apologetics and repeat that, James. Divine, divine mercy apologetics. Divine mercy. Do you, okay. Are you on your iPad? Are you on your iPad or are you on your phone? Or, or I you will. Get a big screen now, I'll be or still no. I'll make I, it I, out I, wish I, I wish I could. I'm just going right now to uh, subscribe. Divine mercy. No, I haven't. It's, I'm telling you, I, I'm I'm working with the social. This media. Oh, okay, okay. So, then, so then we'll talk about it in the future. All this right, so my, we'll talk about it then in the future when it's up then. Mm -hmm. But for but for right now, if we can post uh, here, how do I how do I post like this is Syrian guy and one way apologetics? Let me see if I could do that. Um, one way apologetics. It's uh, I mean, it's the apologetics um YouTube channel. One way. 
Yeah, it's it's Chris Claus's. Uh, is okay, apologetics, and it's yours. I mean, the 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 Israeli guys. So yeah, so this is mine. Oops, uh, let, let me do this. So I'll take a screenshot and. and okay, help. okay. Oh no, you can't, Kenny. Can so let me see if I can post it here. Is it? Uh, I mean, it, it is it uh, has the same username with your your TikTok's username also, like on YouTube. Oh no, it'll be this Assyrian guy, but Al Bial is there. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay, um, okay. Here. Uh, mm. Let me see one second. Let me do this. Okay, okay. Yeah, because we debate a lot of oneness. We debate we debate a lot of Jehovah Witnesses, all uh -huh. the Hebrew Israelites. I debated Jews, right? We um oops. Okay. I'm so excited to, to learn more from you guys because, oh my God, your explanation, that always amazed me. <sighs> I'm still confused. Confused? What about? Yes, about, about, uh, you talking about, uh, is in the Bible, they're talking, um, in the Bible talking about Israel, but you, you say that it's not Israel, but it's Jesus. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, but it's not in the Bible, it's right. It's right, yeah, it's it's right but we don't. We we cannot change it. We cannot change. Uh, no, 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 no. The no, Bible, no. right? It's okay. we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll we'll okay. we'll help you explain. Do you have your Bible with you, friend? Okay, Abu, do you have a Bible on your side? Hmm. We'll, we'll work with you. you as long as do you have a Bible with you? I have. Okay. Okay. Would you? You have to come back and speak, Albie. Okay. So, can you guys? Can you guys so, that's it's. Uh, this is Syrian guy. Watch out! This is uh, watch out, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is uh, gonna be by the grace of the God. Our brother Albi over here, um, is, and I'm, if you don't mind that I <clears throat> give you credit where credit is due. Uh, Albi is a machine, an utter machine. By the grace of glory of God, everything he does, he can tell. As our brother Sam Shimon says, he is a mouthpiece being definitely inspired by the Holy Spirit that indwells him. And we are blessed to have him as he edifies to us. And he gives us key points and he hardens what is softened in us regarding our misunderstandings in the Holy Bible. So thank you so much, Albi, for everything you do. And, uh, I'm glad to have met you and I'm glad to call you my brother. Same. That's so encouraging, man. That's really That's encouraging. Everything. I love you, James. <laughs> you know, it's, we don't see the good, the thing is we never do enough. But that's the good thing. Jesus already has done it all. And these are all works that have already been prepared for us before the foundation of the world as Yeah. Philippian as uh Ephesians chapter two verse 8 to 10 specifically 10 says right uh let me do this really quick titus 1 mm -hmm. ephesians 1 ephesians 2. okay do you, guys, do you guys see my background here okay oh, yeah. we do Sorry. we do we do that's that's one way apologetics ah uh, it's the apologetics um youtube channel christ close one okay Christ, close one. I mean, is it catechism about Catholic? We're, 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 we're Protestant, but we're not, we don't protest anything. In all of these <laughs> major, in, in, in all of these Trinitarian, in all of these Trinitarian churches, okay. there are go there's idolaters in the Roman Catholic Church, just like there's idolaters in the Protestant churches. So uh, we deal okay. with each, we deal with each person individually. Mm -hmm. 
right? And okay. love and embrace and hold hands as we all march to Zion, making sure we don't show disunity amongst the unbelievers because hey. these are Trinitarian churches. <laughs> can I, can I, you There's think I can interject? Oh, sorry. Please do, brother, please. That's crazy. Yeah. You were going to Matthew 25, 31 to 46, weren't you? Is that what you're doing, wolves and uh, sheep? No, but Matthew 25, 31 is about the yeah the sheep on the uh, the yeah. sheep on the right, the goats on oh, the okay. left. Yeah. No. But, so uh, what I was but, gonna say is, I'm Catholic, yeah. and I'm a I'm a diehard Catholic. Uh, I'm a I'm a hardcore Catholic. Um, and my brother here is not a Catholic, and that doesn't mm -hmm. change anything, right? But you so, shall know them by their fruits. Under... You shall know them by their fruits, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, what about you? It doesn't say it doesn't say you shall know them by their denomination. <laughs> you, know, you shall know them by their church. You shall know them by their fruit. <laughs> you know. 100%. Okay. In the, in the last session. 100%. Okay. Okay. Hundred percent. Um. I, 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 oh yeah. You want to ask a question or should we? Because I want to talk to Abu if Abu has a Bible, and then I wanted to welcome Juntek as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just patient. complete it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The fact that Juntek is this patient, he's probably a Christian. Hmm. I'm just kidding. Um, Abu, you there? Juntek, welcome, my friend. Protestant. Yeah, uh, dia bilang selamat datang, Pak, uh, ke ini. Bapak mau tanya sesuatu, Pak Juntek? Yeah, saya. Okay. He's a Protestant. Yeah. Uh, he comes from the denomination. Oh, one of the denomination from Indonesia. Uh huh. Okay. Saya dari Siantar, Sumatera Utara. We're we're Protestants who don't who only protest heresies. Right, we don't pro. I mean, there's pretty much we protest uh, Islam and the Jews uh -huh. and anything that's contrary to <laughs> to some doctrine. Yeah. But no, I wanted no to see. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's no problem. Just continue with Abu. Yeah, sure. I think yeah, uh, uh, I just want to say hello. Yeah. Okay. Continue with that. Uh, Abu, are you there, friends? I'm here, bro. Okay. Do you have your Bible with you? Saya tinggal di Sumatera Utara. Uh, Pak, Pak Juntak, uh, beliau lagi ngomong dengan Pak Abu, jadi uh, nggak lagi ngobrol dengan Bapak. Maaf ya Pak ya. Oke. Okay. <laughs> ya kalau Bapak nggak ada yang ditanya, Bapak boleh tunggu di bawah ya. Nanti kita bisa ngobrol di kesempatan berikutnya, oke? Okay? Oke, okay, oke. Okay, okay. okay. Biar tidak, apa maksudnya, biar... Kan teman-teman uh, ini kan nggak ngerti bahasa Indonesia ya Jadi biar mereka be, being fokus gitu Jadi kalau Bapak mau dengerin di bawah aja dulu, oke? Okay? Oke, okay, oke, okay, oke okay. Oke, okay. okay, uh, I'll be you can put it down I mean, the Juntex account yeah. uh, You know, he wants to get dropped, sister, uh, brother? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, yeah. okay, drop down God bless you, Juntex May the Lord be with you and shine his face upon you, my brother Amen. I'll see you in the kingdom of heaven where we will all be speaking one tongue with one mind, glorifying the God of heaven, the triune God. Mm -hmm. We will see the Father, Son, and Spirit. Sure, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, just continue. I, I want to hear okay. uh, your, the, the next explanation about um, the Abu's questions. Okay. Sure. Abu, are you there, friend? Do you have your Bible with you? If you have to go to your phone to pick up the Bible, then okay, I just have one phone. Okay, okay I, I have know? my I have my com I have my computer in front of me. Oh, no. oh no, right. But I just want to I want him to see it though because it's hard. Abu, you're breathing in, into the uh, my uh, air. Do you have a computer with you or a physical Bible? Because I need you to see this with your own eyes. Better yet, let me screenshot it. What am I doing? Because that's what I've been doing, right? And thank you, uh, James Habibi. No problem, brother. If you need anything, let me know I'm here. I'm not here to serve, Albi. I just want to say Salam al-Masih because I didn't get a chance to give my blessings. Salam al-Masih to all the brothers and sisters that are here on the panel and in the comments. And to all those who aren't submitting to the Holy Trinity, may God bless you.
may you be blessed with the presence of God in your life. Right, so that you confess the true Lord. Amen. 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 Salam al Masih, brother. I Salam. Believe that's anybody that doesn't love the triune God and comes and says it, and speaks ill against brothers of different denominations, brothers and sisters of different denominations. So if you were to come in here and talk about Andrew and Paul or anybody else, I stand with them. So that's what I protest. No, I'm just playing. That's what I protest, though. Anybody that comes against. <laughs> Come with you, and us Catholics with stand with our triune uh, Trinity worshiping Trinitarian Protestant brothers, as long as they don't, you know, trash other denominations as well, like the Apostolics. It goes both ways. We love you all. God bless everyone. Well, 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 even if they do, we don't condemn all, right? We're wise with our words and what we say, because there are going to. There's many Protestants that are going to be condemning you guys. But it doesn't mean that we condemn all Protestants, because not all Protestants will condemn you. No, no. You, you know what I'm saying? So we just want to make sure. We, yeah. yeah, because the Muslims are looking for a reason to clip you guys and to show this unity. We want to make sure, because we stand in opposition to that. We just can't help what others do. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But what, what I can do is I'll fight on your side when that type of stuff happens. You understand? Hey, hey I'll be. God bless yes, you. Sir. Let's not worry about all that. When it comes, it comes. We'll just deal with it as a team. Who cares? You're right, brother. Um, yeah. Revelation, I want to ask you a question, if you don't mind. Would you liken Revelation 17, verse 15 and 16, but more specific, more specifically, verse 16, would you liken it to Leviticus 21, 9? <clears throat> Doing that right now? Sorry. I want to work with Abu for just a moment. Okay. okay. I was I just, trying to... Okay. Yeah, and and also I've told you this before, bro. The mind doesn't work when you give verses like that. It doesn't work that way, because it's it's not. I don't know the whole Bible. However, if I know the verse, right, even then it could be veiled to me. Why? Because it's not supposed to be a show off gift. So it comes when I'm teaching by the grace of God or sharing the word the verses come in mind so whenever you have a word for me brother please read it for me because it will honor me that way may i read it because what you say a lot of the things that you say is in depth and you're not just speaking to me but you're speaking to the crowd and you know james that we all benefit from your teachings brother okay do you think we i can read it quickly from... no because because right. let me just work with Abu, brother. No doubt. For because uh, that, that's what we said for just a moment. So let me do this. I'm gonna pull up on the screen, Genesis 49. Right. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. So, are you with me, Abu? Do you read English or no? Yeah, I could speak English just a little. Okay, but do you read English? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, let me do this. Can you read, right, two three and four i'm going to stop you in three because look who he's talking to okay go ahead what i do you want me to read myself you want me to read for you yes please no problem my friend it says and he has made my mouth like a sharp sword so this is the messiah speaking in the shadow of his hand he has hidden me and made me a polished shaft in his quiver he has hidden me and he said to me you are my servant o israel in whom i will be glorified well we know that he wasn't glorified in the nation of israel because they kept sinning against them so who is this servant that he will be glorified in watch then i said I have labored in vain. This is the ministry of Jesus. I've labored in vain. 
I've spent my strength for nothing and in vain. That was the ministry of Jesus because they crucified him. Yet surely my just reward is with my Lord and my work with my God. My work with my God. But Isaiah 64, 6 says, all of our works are of righteousness. All of our works of righteousness are as if we're giving God a used woman's menstrual rag. But th this and my work is with my God. Wow, who does this guy think he is? And now the Lord says, who formed me from the womb to be his servant. And then I'll go to the next picture. But what's the servant's name? What's the servant's name right here? Israel. Israel, right? And it's Israel that's speaking here, correct? Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay. Now here, from up here, who formed me from the womb to be a servant, and now the Lord says, who formed me from the womb, me, Who's the me that's speaking to be his servant? Who's the me? Israel, right? You are my servant, O Israel. So he formed me from the womb to be a servant. What's the servant's name? Abu? Israel? You got it, buddy. It's Israel. That's the servant's name. Remember, he said in verse 3, You are my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Now he's speaking, the servant is speaking, who formed me from the womb to be a servant, to bring Jacob back to him, so that Israel is gathered to him. For I shall be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. Indeed, he says, it's too small of a thing that you... My servant Israel, you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved ones of Israel. I will also give you as a light to the Gentiles that you should be my salvation to the ends of the earth. So wait a minute. Abu, do you agree that the servant Israel is going to restore the preserved ones of Israel, the nation of Israel? How can Israel restore Israel? Because Israel, the servant, in this context, is the Messiah. There are other places where Israel is called the servant and is referencing the whole nation, yes. However, the nation's been in disobedience. So who is this that his name is Israel that's going to raise up Israel? It's Jesus, right? Because he's going to be a what? A light to the Gentiles. Do you agree, Abu? Um, I don't know, brother. Okay, so let's do it again. Okay, here. <clears throat> what does verse 3 say? Verse 3 says, You are my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. What's the servant's name? And the Israel. And who is Israel? Jesus. You got it, buddy. Because it's not Jacob. Jacob was also named Israel. Remember, there's four Israels in the Bible. There's Jacob, mm -hmm. who was then changed to Israel in Genesis 32. There's the nation of Israel. There's the Messiah who's called Israel. And there's the body of Messiah who's called spiritual Israel because we're in, in him. So notice, notice how Jesus is the greater Jacob. Why? Here, hold on. Let me come back to you. Why is Jesus the greater Jacob? Because while Jacob, from his loins, came the nation of Israel through the 12 tribes, Israel gave birth to the nation of Israel, the physical nation of Israel. The true Israel, Jesus, gave birth to spiritual Israel, the nation, which is us. You understand, friend? 
Yeah, yes, friend. Go on. Beautiful. Do you have questions? I'm going to go to Hosea 11, verse 1, but do you have any questions thus far? I'm going to put it up on the screen. Here, let me do this. Watch, I'll show you more, more proof. Because Jesus is the true Melchizedek. Jesus is the true Adam. Jesus is the true David. Jesus is the true Solomon. Jesus is the true Israel. Jesus is the true... You see my point? Yes. Here. Now, let's go to Hosea. Jesus aims to redeem those people, right? So, like, when he becomes yes. the last Adam, he becomes the greater Adam that redeems the first Adam that fell into sin. Just like when he becomes Israel the servant, he redeems Israel who sinned, right, by coming and not sinning and walking their path perfectly and writing them. When he comes as David, uh, it, it's his role as a redeemer to, uh, and, and his love that causes him to take those names and walk through it perfectly so that, you know, those things, those names um, are perfectly redeemed and fulfill what God wanted uh, them to fulfill, right? So Israel does become a light to the nations because the Messiah becomes Israel. My servant shall deal prudently. He shall be high and lifted up, you know. Now, now, now watch this. This is Hosea. This is Hosea chapter 11, verse 1. You with me, Abu? You with me? Wait, what, okay. Look, what, look, Hosea? Look, what Hosea? Can, look you, what put, can you repeat it? What Hosea? What? I mean, 11, 11. Uh, oh. yeah. Hosea 11. chapter 11, 11? verse 1. Verse 1. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. It says. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I read it. Okay. Okay. It Let's says, go. when Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt, I called my son. So, Abu, what's the son's name? It's Jesus. No, let me repeat it. When Israel was a uh, child, you hmm. got it. What's the son's name? When Israel was a child, Israel, I loved him. Israel. And out of Egypt, I called my son. What's the son's name? I don't know, brother. <laughs> here, let me read it again. That's okay. No problem. Don't get nervous. We love you. We're here to walk with you. Okay? No. We love you. Jesus loves you more. Here, come back. Or you're probably getting a phone call. Okay, listen. When Israel was a child, so the child is the son. Who's the child? Israel. What's the child's name? Israel. The child is the son. When Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt, I called my son. What's the son's name? What's the child's name? Israel. Boom. You got it. And Israel, who's his son, was called out of where? Out, out of, of Egypt. Egypt. You got it, buddy. Now, this is Matthew chapter 2, 13 to 15. Matthew 2, 13 to 15. It says, Now, when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. But this is Jesus. He's calling out of Egypt. But what's... The name of the son, Israel, 
who is the true Jesus, who, who is Jesus. You with me? Yes, bro, I got it. There's there's more evidence as well. If you want to write these down, Isaiah chapter 5, 1 through 7 identifies Israel, the nation, as the vine. The vine. Not the vine, but the vine, like V-I-N-E. Jesus in John 15, 1 through 4, identifies himself as the true vine. The true Israel. Right? So I hope that made sense, buddy. That's why when we're in him, we are blessed and we are spiritual Israel. In the same way, out of Jacob came the nation of Israel, which was carnal. Out of the greater Jacob, out of the greater Israel, came the true spiritual Israel. That's no longer carnal, but spiritual. Everything that was carnal in the Old Testament is now spiritual. Oh, Jesus resurrected on what day of the week did he resurrect? On the <laughs> eighth day of the week, showing that he's the Lord of the spiritual circumcision. Eighth day of the week. Some can say Jesus did rise on the what? First day of the week. Showing what? He is the beginning of a new humanity, a new creation in him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah. that he has a beginning. He doesn't have a beginning. He's eternal. Yeah, he's, this, he, uh, he's the source, you know? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he is the he's source. The source. Uh -huh. And the one who gives sustenance to all because creation. He's, yeah, because um, he is the words of God and, and God um, do and create everything by his words. And Jesus is the his words. Oh, my God. By his word and by his breath. You know, the breath is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, yeah. Now, if you take the face of God, right, and you put your hand by your mouth, every time you speak, breath hits your hand. But you can't have the breath without words. Well, Jesus is the word who always comes with the breath of God. Yeah. You can't oh have one God. without the other. <laughs> that's so cool that's so cool uh, and you know all the people are on uh, the commenter section to know that they go amazed with your explanation and how the bible is just co um related each other from the genesis uh into the re uh revelation you know that and i they didn't expecting it um that israel is Jesus, and I just know it from you. Oh, my God. oh praise God. <laughs> praise God. Yeah. It's, it's very clear, all of this. He's the greater Moses, that's so clear. right? Yeah, that, that's so clear. Yeah. So, so what happened with when Moses went on a mountain, uh -huh. what did he do? He received the law on a mountain from God, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. After Jesus left the wilderness, what did what did he do in Matthew 5, verse 1? Let me go there. Watch this. Matthew 5, verse 1. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain. And when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. And then he began the Sermon on the Mount. But where? On a mountain. He gave the law, his law. You have heard it said, but I say to you. Yeah. You heard, right? So he's giving the law, but also he's the greater Moses by virtue of going up on a mountain to receive law and to give law. That's the point. It's all... You know, it's amazing how this word is put together. Yeah, to it means like a, it means like a Jesus is bigger than Moshe. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. 100%. If it's, yeah, mm, if the Moshe just brings the law, but you know, Jesus is low itself. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so amazed with the Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs>
See, that's the spirit of God. It's the spirit that bears yeah. witness, right? So. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you.